Hello, I'm going to be uh, repeating a question very shortly that Einstein asked about the moon, but I want to set this up by quoting Julian Baghini. He wrote Atheism, a very short introduction. And one of the things he says in that book is that what most atheists do believe is that although there is only one kind of stuff in the universe and it is physical, out of this stuff comes minds, beauty, emotions, moral values, in short, the full gamut of phenomena that give richness to human life. Now, I am going to even ask at this point for a physicist to weigh in on Julian Baghini's notion that although there's only one kind of stuff in the universe and it is physical, is there only one kind of stuff in the universe and is that stuff physical. Now, I said I would ask Einstein's moon question, and he was really posing this to people interested in quantum physics, really, and that is, is the moon there when we're not looking at it? Because from Einstein's point of view, of course, there is an objective reality, and the moon really is there independent of an observer, and yet what quantum physics suggests is that there is no such thing as truly objective reality. Now, my point of view is that both of these are right. I think that quantum physics is absolutely right. Quantum physics is a hard science, and so much of what is predicted in, science, in, in quantum physics is testable and provable, but so is Einstein's point of view, as this uh, classic materialist kind of point of view that Einstein represents. We absolutely know he has reliable predictions. How can both be right? And I believe that they are. I say that the way these two things are right is that there has to be an observer who does not blink. In order for us to talk about a past, in order for us to have a shared future, in order for us to have a shared view, any sense of a concrete reality, there has to be a power holding the vision steady for us, giving us the possibilities to exist in any physical sense, to do things, to explore and, uh, and conceive of physical reality, which is in fact, as Einstein says, real. But it is also, as the quantum physicists tell us, dependent upon that observer. How can you reconcile these two varying notions? And they, they must be reconciled because we see them. We see both sides of this. We see this from the quantum physicist's point of view, and we see Einstein's point of view. Can we do this with, with leaving that one absolute observer out of the question? I say we absolutely cannot do that. And that is where the theists are correct. There has to be an intelligent, aware observer who does not blink. So even if you don't um, approve or agree with my point of view about this one ultimate observer, I'm asking physicists to just weigh in on uh, Julian Beguini's statement that there's one kind of, there's let me, let me be absolutely clear. What most atheists do believe is that although there is only one kind of stuff in the universe and it is physical, I invite comments on that. And um, I'd also like to invite civil comments on that. Let me just repeat something that somebody I greatly admire, and that's Thomas Huxley, who happened to have coined the term agnostic, said, he was writing a letter to his dear friend, the Reverend Charles Kingsley, after Kingsley had sent him a note of condolence on the death of, of Huxley's son. And Huxley took uh, many opportunities in this letter to lay out his points of view on why he had arrived at agnosticism. But here's what he says to Kingsley. It is clear to me that if the great and powerful instrument for good or evil, the Church of England, is to be saved from being shivered into fragments by the advancing tide of science, an event I should be very sorry to witness, it must be by the efforts of men who, like yourself, see your way to the combination of the practice of the Church with the spirit of science. So 
I very much approve of this spirit of science. I, I think it's something that to celebrate. And that's why I'm asking my respondents to please be civil in your replies. I know um, it's common nowadays to refer to people of faith as delusional, which I think is an unfortunate uh, point of view. And in fact, quite wrong and out of line with what science is likely to reveal. So let's just concentrate on Einstein's moon question, um, comparing that to Julian Bikini's point of view on the stuff of the universe being only physical. Come back and visit me on another blog.